A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 5, verses 17 to 26. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. One day, as he was teaching, Pharisees and religious teachers were sitting around. They had come from nearly every village in Galilee and Judea, even as far as Jerusalem, to be there. The healing power of God was on him. Some men arrived carrying a paraplegic on a stretcher. They were looking for a way to get into the house and set him before Jesus. When they couldn't find a way in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof, removed some tiles and let him down in the middle of everyone, right in front of Jesus. Impressed by their bold belief, he said, Friend, I forgive your sins. That said the religious scholars and Pharisees buzzing. Who does he think he is? That's blasphemous talk. God and only God can forgive sins. Jesus knew exactly what they were thinking and said. Why all this gossipy whispering, which is simply to say, I forgive your sins, or to say, get up and start walking? Well, just so it's clear that I am the Son of Man and authorized to do either or both. He now spoke directly to the paraplegic, get up. Take your bedroll and go home. Without a moment's hesitation, he did it, got up, took his blanket, and left for home, giving glory to God all the way. The people rubbed their eyes, stunned, and then also gave glory to God. Awestruck, they said, we have never seen anything like that. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflection according to St. Matthew chapter 1 verse 18 to 25. O sacred Lord of ancient Israel! O sacred Lord of ancient Israel, who showed yourself to Moses in the burning bush, who gave him the holy law on Sinai mountain, come, stretch out your mighty hand to set us free. There are things in our lives we are not proud of, some of which we may even be ashamed of. But all these are part of who we are, which we cannot but accept, not with resignation but with thanks, knowing that grace builds on nature and that God's power is made perfect in our imperfections. Take comfort for you are not alone because even the Son of God was born an illegitimate child. The Gospel could have simply glossed over this but presented us instead the story of our salvation that began with a family scandal. Thanks to God who intervened by sending Joseph to take his place with Mary and Jesus. O Jesus, mighty Lord, you yourself suffered lack and want in your life when you lived among us, come and reach out to us in our weaknesses and imperfections to set us free and share with us your divinity. Amen.